Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Transformers video. Transformers, you say? Why, you sure as heck don't do a lot of videos on those, if at all. But I'll tell you what, when you start bringing back Transformers Animated, one of my favorite iterations of Transformers... Yeah, I'm definitely going to do a video, because we got a new Optimus Prime and Bumblebee to discuss. Bumblebee will be a deluxe class. Now, keep in mind, they are utilizing the animated nature, kind of, sort of, right? And then bringing it into the larger, more everyday kind of Transformer looks. So they're not really the classic Derek J. Wyatt looks, unfortunately. But again, it's nice to see them return some way, some form. Now, here's Optimus Prime. And I'm going to tell you, I loved the way that he looked in animated. And not everybody thought that this show was going to be a hit, including myself. In fact, that's right when the first movie came out. Then they go, oh, we're going to do this. The style was wackadoo, right? As you can clearly see on the side of the box, his lips were very prominent. I remember that discussion ever so well. But... We were wrong. It was an amazing series. And keep note of this artwork right here, because that part of the axe, a little blast effect, not in the box. <laughs> but Transformers Animated blew us away. It was a light-hearted style, and it was a lot of drama, excellent storytelling, and I'm gonna tell you, thank God this thing only has 25 steps to transform it. That's a big thing with me. Terrible at transforming Transformers. If they come as robots, I welcome it. If they come as whatever they transform into, tank, truck, or otherwise, they're screwed. They stay like that forever because those instruction booklets. <laughs> I tells you what. Now, the barcode for Optimus is here. Both Bumblebee and Optimus came from Walmarts, but they are largely starting to hit everywhere and online, so should be no problem. A gravitum. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. Very stoked. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Transformers animated Optimus Prime and Bumblebee by Hasbro. And while I got all you boss bots here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. It's kind of a, a retro shiz episode as well, as you'll soon see, because here is Optimus and Bumblebee out of the packaging and, and all transform. And I'm very proud of myself. Pat myself on the back for this one. Transformed them myself. Bumblebee, like I said, very small. And I know that's not where his little stinger missiles and the jet propulsion go. They go towards the back. Stuck them on there for now. Relax. It's very cool, very interesting. Lots of portholes all around that. It just helps in kind of turning this guy every which way so you can see all the different elements of inside. And I like that for the most part, it's very animated looking as a vehicle mode. Give or take, right? They even gave him Captain Fanzone's siren right there on the top. That's nice to see. You have the Autobot symbol, the black racing stripe. But keep in mind, the yellows don't all match up. It might be kind of hard to see on the video, but the front part right here with the windshield is a much different yellow than the rest of the plastic. Just FYI. Now, the missiles, the stingers, those are two separate pieces, but you can put them together. Just a heads up. I don't exactly agree on the clear plastic of the missiles. I don't know why they went that route. Perhaps it would have been better to go just the full blue. The stingers look pretty good. I'll give it to them on that. I like that it's two colored plastic. Now, I do like the callbacks to the old animated Transformers, the little digitalization within the windshields and the windows. That's pretty cool. The bottom, yeah, he's largely just all botified. Most of the plastic parts and pieces fit together. Very little gappage, if any, just as a heads up. But yes, for the most part, it's pretty darn cool. And again, it's really nice overall just to see Transformers animated back on the shelf. I'm really turning my brain off for this one, especially with Optimus Prime. Now, that's not to say that it didn't come out good, either of them, right? It's just very hard for me to see past the fact that the original designs worked so well, and those toys are so beautiful, and they still hold up for the most part. But when you have things like this, these are just kind of design adjacent. Yes, they have translated well. You have the big old Energon axe. That's really nice to see. Again, 
I like the design of it, but they didn't put a blast effect on the back. For the price that we're paying for these, what's a blast effect, right? Couldn't throw that in there, come on. Now, this will extend, so you make the ax even longer, just like the cartoon, I like to see that. But yes, overall, that's a nice little touch. It works well, especially with Optimus Prime in his more truck, fire truck mode kind of deal. That's cool. Not the best design in terms of the back, we'll say. He rolls around the front, the sides. It has that animated look, the style. It even has the siren at the top. So it's there in the design, but it's not Oh, that's Transformers animated. Because when you look at the original figures, which again, are amazing. They are so darn good. Bumblebee was so good. I loved the heck out of these things. I still love the heck out of these things. But an improvement that, yes, some of the new Transformers make is definitely in the articulation, right? Although, I like the built-in stingers right here. I think that that's a nice effect, right? You can get that going. Bumblebee, the head portrait, very animated. All the styling proportions, very animated. Optimus Prime, one of the best representations of that. Even though it may not match the style, as you'll soon see, this one does still match the animated Optimus Prime over this new one. I even have an Energon Axe, which I had to get from a different Optimus Prime to really fit this bigger version. Again, I like to see all the digitalization within his window paneling and this one has the pop-up faceplate, which, as you'll soon see, the new one does not. So again, all these elements from years and years and years ago, they nailed it. And yes, they are better than what we are getting now. With the instruction booklets, as I've said, and as I've joked around with the Transformer team at many a con, <laughs> I'm just terrible at reading these things. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's me, I'll admit it. But some of the illustrations, when you go to do it, you're like, hold on a second, what? Oh, now I gotta flip it 180. It's, it, it's a problem that I feel like they should work on with the <laughs> instruction booklets. But, fully transformed. Again, pat on my back, did that. They were actually a lot easier to go from vehicle mode to robot mode, just as a heads up. But in scale of what came before and what we have now, I would say yes, the scaling does work a little bit better. Let's get these out of the way and look at what we have for the here and now with Bumblebee. That is fairly Bumblebee-ish, right? Like it's good. It's not something I'm gonna go, oh man, I don't know where you begin to design Transformers. You put the stingers on the back, at least that's what the instruction booklets say, yes. There is going to be a lot of panels, a lot of parts and pieces where I'll say, eh, it's kinda sorta animated Bumblebee. I would say the most animated part is the face. Everything else is just, yes, a more updated look for Hasbro's Transformers line. But yes, you do get a lot of articulation. All the modern articulation, plenty of movement, you get the idea, right? Which is totally cool, I totally dig that. And like I said, where you even begin to design these, I couldn't tell you. So that's why I blissfully enjoy Transformers. The ingenuity, the craftsmanship is insane to me. Although some of the parts and pieces can be kind of loose from time to time, just as a heads up and some of them do pop off, but luckily you can reassemble. Now right here, you can swap the hands and that's where you're gonna kind of bring these together so you can do his stinger. You can see the little portholes right there. So you attach the two stingers and he can do his little move from the show, right? That's cool. I like that they stuck that element in there. Uh, I don't know if they were gonna do that, but I'm glad that that is definitely there. You can kind of sort of do it one-handed, although they're at an angle. So I would say that no, that doesn't really look the best. And like I said, the previous older one has it built in, which is awesome. On the packaging, they bill it as holding his boosters with the stingers attached and they look more like guns, which doesn't really do it for me. It might do it for you, but in the animated style, yeah, I'll pass on that one. And yes, there are portholes at the bottom base by his feet, so you can have him boostering around all Detroit. That's a nice little style touch as well. There are elements to this where I go, they know what they're doing. They know Transformers animated. Is it going to fully reconnect to what was before and to what is now? It's okay. 
right? Now, with Optimus Prime, I would say that he fares a little bit better. I like the head portrait on this. I think that that looks really great, although that would have been a perfect opportunity to add some sort of faceplate. Maybe the face itself would turn, one side has the faceplate, one side doesn't. That would have been cool to put in there. Maybe they'll do one later on with the faceplate and then give him some of the wing blades, right? That would be awesome. He's got the Autobot symbol on his shoulder, the cap, the legs. That is not really animated. There's a lot of detail missing, I will say, more towards the feet and everything else. So again, not to beat a dead horse. It's animated in name only. There's some design elements that, yes, I would definitely always equate to animated, but it's definitely its own thing. Am I happy that animated has returned? Oh, heck yeah, that is amazing. I love to see it. Would I have loved to have seen more of a redo incorporating all of Derek J. Wyatt's designs? Yes, that would have been ultimately what I want to see because I want to see Hasbro tackle that. I think it's too easy to do this. I want to see them incorporate those original designs again. And I do, again, love that his axe extends and you can get it going in two hands. That's a nice touch. I like to see that element. But overall, in terms of him standing, the movement, the articulation, the transformation, the overall style based on Transformers Animated, Optimus does have it. And these are not the first Transformers Animated to make a reappearance. Now, there has been Prowl and there has been the Auto Trooper, which came in a multi-pack. I didn't think they were going to go too far with Transformers Animated. I thought, oh... It's just Prowl, and that'll probably be it. Nope. We got Bumblebee, we got Optimus, and like I said, in the multi-pack for targets, we have the Auto Trooper, which was a BotCon exclusive. I don't have that one. I don't have a lot of the BotCons, but I have every other mainline release, which you'll soon see. In looking at Bumblebee, from what's come before to what we got now, you can gradually see how he's uh, he's gotten smaller. <laughs> in both bot mode and then vehicle mode. Although, like I said, the originals I still definitely think hold up. You have the smaller alternators bumblebee right there, a couple swip swap pieces and he's back into robot mode. And then you have the elite guard bumblebee, which is black and gold. And yes, there's the missiles up top. Blue would have been great, but you get to see the gradual evolution of what we had then to what we got now. And to do that for Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime, and I'll be honest with you, I don't have the wing blade Optimus Prime. This is pretty much it. They made Scourge Optimus Prime, right? Like Black Convoy. Then they also made this Elite Guard one. So we have the Cybertron mode. We have the new Optimus Prime here. We have like the main Optimus Prime, the one that everybody wants for their collection, right? More of a, a deluxe mode. And then you had the battle damaged Earth mode that came with Megatron in a two pack. So again, a nice smorgasbord of Optimus Primes, but I'm still going with the originals. Because if you ever had the question, will these new animated Transformers fit with the old animated Transformers? Well, I can honestly tell you, because I sure as heck got a lot of them here, <laughs> that no, they will not fit. They are a completely different style. You will be able to see the difference. To anyone that never seen Transformers animated, forget about it. You'll be fine. I would love to see them continue this. I'd love to see an AllSpark shard in a Starscream. I'd love to see them do Megatron again, although this Megatron still rocks. And he still works. That is pretty darn cool. You could do the Headmaster. Wouldn't mind some humans, right? That'd be cool. Lugnut to do the full-size Lugnut this go around. Totally would love that. Make Soundwave a little bit bigger. Make Swindle a little bit bigger. Maybe change some of that clear plastic purple out. Get Ratbat a going. And like I said, give us some humans. Let's do Sorry. Let's do Isaac Sumdeck. Let's get an AllSpark in there. That would be killer. More human figures for Transformers, me says. But you can get Captain Fanzone. You can get those darn Japanese releases going again. You can go all kinds of crazy with the variants of all the bad guys all the different bounty hunters, Long Arm Prime, everybody. And you can even do Shockwave, which, my God, those are great figures, right? And just to kind of pan around to some more of the Predacons, you know, Wasp, Waspinator. 
would be nice to see. Wink, wink. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Transformers animated Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. And you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Transformers animated. And if you'd like to see more Transformers animated videos from me, leave me a comment down below. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, have a fantastic weekend. Live it up and have a blast. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.